Oh, it's a problem we've all suffered with at some stage or other, worms hanging from our bottoms. Now the thing is, what do we do about it? Well, when I say hanging from our bottoms, I mean the bottom of these mesh type trays you get in stackable wormeries. What you never do is pull the worm all the way through. Just tap the worm or run your fingers down both sides of it. The worm will think it's a bird or something trying to eat it and it'll pull up in very sharp order. Uh, the reason you don't pull is worms will instinctively pull against whatever's touching them. So you'll rip the worm in half. The other thing they can do is, depending on the, the species of worm you have, they can flatten out their um, tails um, into a sort of a paddle type shape to increase grip. So never pull all the way through, just tap like I've just done there. You've seen how quickly now they've disappeared up back into the um, mesh. Now there's a, there's a layer of newspaper, a couple of layers of newspaper across that mesh, but as you can see there's lots of castings there and it still doesn't stop them from going down into the sump. The, that's the, one of the issues with these stackable wormeries, there will always be some worms that are just never happy and they just want to go exploring. Now I just thought I'd have a quick look at the sump because since I set this up I haven't actually looked at it. So. If you watch the uh, video I made for heirloom reviews, I explained why I uh, drop a load of cardboard into the sump. I don't want the sump getting wet, and I don't want the leachate off it. Really, the the aim of the game is to try and not let the sump, uh, not let not let uh, too much water get through into the sump because that's an indication that your bin is too wet in the first place. But I do put damped down cardboard into the sump, and this is the reason why. You can see there's fair amount of castings there on the cardboard. These guys have decided to leave the bottom tray, make their way into the sump and, and um, they seem to have quite happily settled in there. Now you imagine if that was full of leachate or full of water, they would have drowned. So I'll just rescue these guys now, put them back into the um, bottom tray and uh, see if they'll settle this time around. That's it, quick video, thanks for watching.